We now turn to some big breaking news just now from the ranking member of the House Intel Committee. That would be Congressman Devin Nunes. Congressman Nunes just filed a lawsuit against Fusion GPS over racketeering claims. This just happening a short time ago. Now, remember, during his congressional testimony, remember Robert Mueller, the special counsel, said he wasn't familiar with Fusion GPS, just like he never knew that Jeannie Ray was once Hillary Clinton's attorney. And yet, she was on his special counsel staff. Just to remind you. When you talk about the, the firm that produced the steel reporting, uh, the name of the firm that produced that was Fusion GPS. Is that correct? Well, I, I'm not familiar uh, uh, with, uh, with that. I, well, uh, let, you, let me just help you. Uh, it, it was. It's not, it's not a trick question or anything. It was Fusion GPS. No, that wouldn't be a trick question. That would be you needed to know that. And everyone else in the free world that's following this case knew the facts. Everyone knows Fusion GPS was the political strategy firm paid for by the Clinton campaign to dig up Russian dirt on Donald Trump. Remember, Fusion GPS hired ex-foreign spy Christopher Steele. And that money from the Clinton campaign was funneled through the campaign, through a law firm, as a legal expense, which it was not, and still produced the never verified, now we know unverifiable, lying, dirty Russian dossier. And as we tell you, the rest is history. Now, according to Congressman Nunes, Fusion GPS, they tried to impede and derail his investigation into the dirty dossier. Now, coming up tonight exclusively right here, Congressman Nunes, he will be here with more of the exclusive details in this breaking story. But we turn to another bombshell development first, as a lawsuit has just been filed by the ACLJ about issues surrounding, yep, Mr. Super Patriot himself, Jim Comey. Now, the ACLJ lawsuit is seeking documents surrounding Comey's efforts to literally plant spies starting right after the inauguration inside the Trump White House to monitor the Trump administration for Comey and report back to him. That would be the same Jim Comey who infamously said, oh, we don't spy, but yet he signed three of the four FISA applications to spy on Carter Page. And of course, that being a backdoor into all things candidate Trump, president-elect Trump, and then President Trump. And we now know James Comey is an absolute liar. He lied to a FISA court. It was premeditated. He was warned in advance. It was an unverifiable dossier that was the bulk of information that was used in that application, all three that he signed. We know he lied to President-elect Trump when, after he signed the first FISA warrant, he talked to then-President-elect Trump and said the dossier was salacious but unverified. But he had signed off on the application three separate times, both before and after telling the president that it's not verified. And when he signed those applications, he was swearing they were verified. Now, remember, McCabe said no dossier, no FISA warrant. Now, this new information tonight takes the actions of Jim Comey to a whole level of duplicitous lying. And the big question tonight is why is Director Ray of the FBI not working hard to clean up his FBI, our FBI. I have an FBI pin right here, Director Ray, if you're watching. This is the premier law enforcement agency in the world. Why is the FBI under Director Ray refused to cooperate with a simple Freedom of Information Act request? Well, tonight, the ACLJ, they are demanding rightfully answers, and this comes as two separate Department of Justice investigations into deep state spying and FISA fraud are ongoing, and we're told that James Co Comey, yes, Mr. Super Patriot, the one that teaches us about morality, is a key focus of each damning probe. Tick-tock, Jimbo.